All right, yes, so today I wanted to try out this deck that I sort of threw together based off of comments that Jeff Hoagland had made. Um, Cat, no, Cat, you are a monster. You're literally just like a monster that can be cast in a card game. There you go. Shut up. No one's listening. What are you looking at? Oh, I see what you're looking at. No. Whatever. He wants his mommy. Hi, bud. Yeah, that's why I got online as quickly as possible, if I'm honest. Uh, so, anyway, back to the deck. Uh, the original list had copies of um, Vanifar and the card that I don't remember the name of. Uh, Neoform. There we go. So it was sort of like a toolbox deck. You can go get things and you just don't need it. Like you're playing really good cards anyway. So just play your good cards and win. Uh, so let's go through said good cards. Um, uh, Charming Prince is really good with things like uh, Risen Reef, other Charming Princes, Cloud Conceer, uh, Wicked Wolf. And cap so we have a lot of ETP stuff. Uh, Oko is Oko. Teferi is Teferi. Once upon a time, finds all of our creatures for us. We have to Deputy of Detention. Eh, I mean, like, in other decks, you, you would want to max out on these. But I think, at least for now, this is where we want to be. And then in the side, I actually wanted to cut this because I realized it was too cute. And I thought of a better card. Uh... I want Thrashy B. All right. And yeah, that's uh, that's the, the idea. Tristani is good in Oko Mirrors and other such things. So let's uh, go ahead and get on that brand new ladder and, and get this party rolling down a hill. Uh, submit. Okay, and set as current. Let's play that King Goose. That Goosey King. Not every deck will want every copy of the package. And not every package will want every deck. What? All right. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just saying words. Uh, right. This this annoying thing. All right. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Sneaker Keeper. Solves. Do not actually playing... Well... Okay, so I have Temple Garden, which means I could potentially hit a Goose. So let's go ahead. Did not hit a Goose. Um, we have four lands. Actually, I'm going to grab an untapped land here. Yeah, I'm going to grab an untapped land. Which lets me play this Scry land here. That might be good in this matchup, so we'll keep that there. And then next turn I can go Plains Charming Prince without hurting myself. Scry to don't need either of these honestly. Looking for that okay oko. <clears throat> okay oko. That's really hard to say. I will block. Snap that off. And here you thought I hadn't already selected. Uh let's see. Not really worried about that. Let's draw a card. Alright. <clears throat> right. Okay.
Well, you don't want to trade your, your knight for my... Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm into this. Go away. And then we will scry. That's a king. That's a king. Yeah, I, this is kind of a grindy card. Rut -ru Raggy, I'm in danger. I have a lot of cards to discard. What would you what what mode would you choose? I scry to the top. You can make me kill this thing. Wow. Interesting, interesting. Huh. Alright, so this is no this is on wrinkle duty for the time being. Um More creatures gain haste and trample. Three mana, gain five life. Interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and try and ramp up a little bit. I'm gonna leave that on top because Risen Reef will get it. Then I can goose it up. Feeling loosey, feeling goosey. You're not blocking anyway. Get in for one. I wish I had more gas. Yeah. Castle is pretty good. Stormfist is, is very good. Oh no, my goose! My goose is, is no longer loose. Priest of the Forgotten Gods. I can't have that. I can't have priest. A lot of cards in this deck seem to read. Um, what am I trying to say here? Uh, they seem to read. Draw a card, gain some life by blocking. Uh, we're pretty far behind. See, I can play this. Can gain three life up to ten. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. I'm here, I'm here, I'm, I'm, I'm looking. Um. Uh, right, so play this. Play deputy. Gotta hit the rankle. Get that out of my life. Feel disappointed. Oh, so this is this is a, a sort of aristocratic build. I see. I see. Yeah, this is this is an aristocrat build, for sure. So they're gonna like. Hmm. Hmm. get back both of their knights. Oh, they get back these. Eh. Yeah. Yeah. That's not good enough. They have this priest, so we take two and then two from the priest. Yeah. Dobbs. We Dobbs. Um, okay. We have glass casket to deal with most of their stuff. Um, hmm. 
Veil of Summer is kind of interesting, but I don't think it's good enough. Ketra is probably too slow. Like, if we have a Ketra out, we're just winning anyway. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of what Veil does, but it doesn't mean it's good enough for the matchup. Uh, I forgot to change the sleeve, and that's annoying. I feel like a pleb now that I see that. Don't want to bring this in. Uh, one more cut, I guess. Just, like, bring in more efficient removal. I guess I cut a... No, that's lame. Uh, yeah, let's cut Cavalier of Gales. All right, we get to be on the play. Maybe we can have a Broco hand. Once upon a time, casket. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. So looking for an untapped green source so we can goose them. Get goosed. Ooh, do it again. Do it again. Look at that red fox. I love the red fox. Cat doesn't want to be on stream, so I got to use the fox. Uh, that's kind of annoying. Um, I want to play a, uh, a Mana Dork on two, so I'll just play that. Fabled Passage. Yeah, we, we got two Mana Dorks. It's fine. It fine. Gutter Bones. Uh, yeah. We can wolf something next turn. Like that. Alright. Whew. The painless land, too. That one. I want to fight that one. Knight of the Ebon Legion. Okay. Time to goose it up. And I'm going to glass casket this knight. Boom. All right. They mulligan and we had the nuts. What, what, what can I say? What else is there to say? <laughs> there's cat hair everywhere that's what else i can say there is cat hair literally everywhere gone but not forgotten This is going to move the camera too, huh? Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, this hand might be too slow. I'm going to I'm going to mulligan it. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, no. My two fabled passages coming up at the wrong time. Uh, you're awkward. And I have a goose. Maybe I should have done this one. Maybe, maybe, maybe I should have kept a land. Or an O3 or whatever. There's a chance I goof this up. Hopefully they just go like gutter bones, gutter bones. I hope he hosts me. That would be fantastic. I'm not going to say no to a Jeff host. All right. Okay. Um. Uh, 
Oh, I played the wrong spell. It doesn't matter. I played the right spell. This blocks this. All right. I meant to play this one, I think. I'm not sure. Close. Very close. All right, they're killing it. Got it. Block. Oh. Just gonna gain three life here. Uh, going with the no attacks. He's dead, Jim. Short, short on mana, long on hopes. Oh gosh, oh no, oh no, oh gosh. Um. I don't know, was I supposed to block and then lose both my things? Huh? Jeff Hoagland with the host, 1373. Welcome, welcome. Uh, uh, I'm trying to decide, do I like the goose or the prince more? I guess it's the goose long game. Anyway, uh, hi, my name is Marty Punker and uh, this is my stream. I play Magic the Gathering of the standard variety. Uh, and right now we are playing some, some Bant, uh, Kenrith. So, welcome everyone. Rip. <laughs> Woo! Uh, Tr Trunk and Duncan <laughs> with the follow. Welcome, thank you. I feel dead. Feels dead, man. Look, distraction. I guess I could have bounced that so they had. Nah. Oh, my basics are off too. Oh, everything is wrong. That's why I'm losing. I don't have sleeves. My basics aren't foil. What on earth is wrong with me? Robot beater with the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. Playing like a pleb, right? Like. Ignore, ignore all this, ignore this, ignore this. I'm playing like a pleb. Yeah, sure, he's dead. Uh, RNL18 with the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. You just let me know if you're TX Pump Fist and Adriano Calvito with the follows. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. Yep, Goose is dead. Uh, am I dead? Feels dead, man. All right, all right, all right. Let's uh, let's fix up these uh, foils here. <laughs> let's get the uh, the right lands in play so we can win. It's okay. It was only our first match of the the night. The night is young. We have a chance to win. Thank you. Uh, let's let's see. I swear I did this last night, so I don't understand. But here we are. Then we have no swamps. Yeah, okay. Putting Kenrith in your deck makes getting your basic lands very difficult. All right. And then sleeve. Let's just do Nissa sleeves. Okay. Now, now we can actually like play the deck, right? It's a functional deck now. Exemption three. I'm I'm exemption one and two, just so you know. God, I just looked at the viewer count. <laughs> Woo! Alright, this once upon a time, it's gonna find us a land and we get to goose. Oh, it's gonna be great. 
Oh, don't fail me. Don't fail me once upon a time. Oh, we don't even need it. Join the cast. Uh, always looking for some magic. Well, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for that follow. Welcome to the stream. I'm ready to get my... Uh, since we drew the third land, right? And we have Goose. So, like, we go Forest, Goose. And then next turn we have Paradise Druid. And then after that, we start, like, Risen Reefing and Leafkin Druiny. Do I want a land, or do I just want another Risen Reef or a Wicked Wolf? Oh, choices. The choices, they abound. I like all of these cards. Charming Prince I'm a little off of uh, for this particular situation. Um, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I'm going to take the creature that is also a removal spell. Let's do that. Let's get Goosey Goose down. King Goose in the house. Everyone being quiet like it's subscriber mode. Yeah, no, no, no. You don't need to be sub to, to talk. Honk. All right. So, salt tie stuff on the other side of the table. Maybe maybe I just... Okay. I think I'm... No, I need to... I need to put a second mana dork into play. So that I can actually play multiple things so if we draw a land here maybe i should have taken the land because that means this turn i could have this next turn i could have done so much annual kaiser with the follow welcome to the stream thank you very much ah it doesn't matter always lucky consummate professional yes 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 uh nah uh, always make blue mana if you can. I'd like to hit a land. Not, not hitting a land is kind of annoying. Uh, next turn we can... Let's see, we have two, three, four, five, six mana next turn. Holy moly. It's a, that's a lot of mana. Feeling okay? Okay. Okay, Oko. So if I play this, then I have two, three, four mana left over because I plus this. And then I can play this and eat this. Doesn't sound terrible. Are they going to, like, kill it because they have main deck Noxious Grasp? Ah, Murderous Rider. Much more reasonable. <laughs> sure, sure. It's not trust me. I don't trust you, Oko. I would like to kill that. Thank you. Thought erasure. That's rude. Stay out of my hand. Oh, there goes our Oketra. There she goes. Etc. That was really bad. I'm sorry. I apologize for the singing. I can't say it won't happen again, though. Okay. Um... Uh... It will happen frequently. Shh. Okay, so if we to fairy, we can bounce their dork and kill their Vraska. That sounds like a fantastic place to start. I can no longer stand by and watch. Nothing. All right. Do I need all this mana? Two, three, yes. So. For now. Oh, I guess I could have shocked this in. Eh, it's fine. Everything is fine. Now we have protection for our goose. 
I'm feeling okay here. Oh, fur goose, fur wolf is what I meant to say. <clears throat> All right. I believe this is what you would define as good game. Yep. Yep. GG. See, I told you. I told you. We sh <clears throat> wow, I'm sorry. My throat is not cooperating. If you uh, change your lands to, to foil and you put a sleeve on your deck. Why is that message up there? That's weird. Illust, Illust Fob. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, huh? Wouldn't it be nice if you had one? <laughs> Thank you for making them. Orion TH with the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. I think I want some Vale of Summers. Um, what am I cutting here? Vale of Summers seemed good. Probably cut like a Charming Prince on the lower end of stuff. They have really good removal. I kind of want to... I guess, I guess the removal gets this too because they have Assassin's Trophy. It's fine. Uh, cut one of these. And... One other cut. Uh, Paradise Druid. Sure. Thank you for making my, my badges. They're fantastic. Sure. Sure. Oh my gosh. Find me an untapped green source, please. Thank you. How about a turn to Risen Reef? How's that sound? Ow, oh, you get out of my hand. Boo. They're quite appealing. Get it? Uh, appealing? Because they're, they're bananas. Uh, do I want to play this now? I think I just want to scry this turn. You're late. You're very late. Okay, there I could have attacked with the goose. I'm sorry. I should have attacked with the goose. But I did not. Kenrith. You're bluffing exile semi spirit mixed boot, right? Well, really, I could have, I could have, uh, Used my food to make a food. Uh... I think this turn I'm going to crack a food, make a food. Oh no, don't kill my goose. Okay. Whew. I was like, for, for a brief moment, I thought they were about to kill my goose. Is that good? Is that good? Trust me, you'll thank me later. Trust me, I have a plan. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Trust me, I have a plan. That is not a goose screech, honk. That's not. <laughs> this is reign of terror against tokens, right? 
Like, is this card good? Uh, no. Is it is it good against this? Then no. Like, this card is helping us win the game here. Oh, no. Legion's End? Are my gooses cooked? I, I have six mana that they know about, but are my gooses cooked? When will the bouncing cease? It reminds me of the episode of Futurama where they went to the planet where all the inhabitants were bouncy balls. <laughs> sure. I, I feel like that's bad threat assessment, but I could be wrong. Uh, what's on top of our deck? Not that card. Geese. I'll protect you. Brain balls. True. Um. Do I glass casket this? Sure. Ooh, I do because eventually Teferi gets to bounce it and they don't get anything when I do that. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're doing it now. That's beautiful. <laughs> Just keep bouncing this and... and... Oh, yeah. Sure. I'm hungry. Okay, Oko. Oh, I've done the a, a glass box, right? Who's more foolish? The fool or the fool who rules us? The What did he say? I'm confused. I don't know what he just said. All right. All right. This game feels kind of over. It may take a second to get there, but it's basically over. Ooh. Oh. Oh, you're going to need to adjust that. I, I only need one goose. You, my goose is cooked. Sure. Oh no! Fine. Game less fine. over than anticipated. If you glass casket something and then plus Oko on it, they never, they just never, yeah. It, it just never goes away or never comes back. Um, but this only hits creatures, right? Yeah. Uh,. I have a cat now. Thanks. Thanks, Mom. All right, so I block this one more time and then bounce it with Teferi. Or if they put a threat out. No, I can't block it one more time. Aren't we supposed to be protesting? So we... I, I don't know what you're talking about, so I can't help you. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> well, Teferi's not dead, but I don't get the second use out of him. Which is kind of sad. That didn't pan out. Haha! <laughs> pan out because of food? Aren't we supposed to be uh, protected so we... So that we're guaranteed to get mythic. Um, not sure. I'm not sure how the protection works. That's not what I wanted. Here we go. On Swedish mobile. Oh, yeah. That that makes it really difficult, huh? This needs to be at six. All right. 
If they send both that to Fairy, I am no blocking. Do I save to Fairy? Do I carry about to Fairy? Uh, I think he's he's lived his time. They spent a lot of resources on, on killing him. I really should have seen that coming. Okay, I have 12 life just sitting in play. Yeah, it dies next turn anyway, right? Uh, this is not what I wanted. I'm just gonna thin. We're at that point in the game. I have to kill this. Like, if I kill this, I'm okay. Wicked Wolf does that too, right? Because I have five foods, so I can attack it and then, or fight it and then eat all the, f eat three food or two food, I guess. This game is going much longer than I expected. Why isn't Goose an elemental? Uh, take five. Or, yeah, five. A gold elemental, right? Like, why else would it be gold? Like I said, I want to leave two food so that Doggo can fight. They've done all this work. They're at five. I'm at 18. True. I just... Uh, I'm at 18 anyway. Are you happy? Goose is back. <laughs> uh. Oh, now they're gaining life. Uh. And we've used both glass caskets. Oh, I was like, why did they? Sure. Six, nine, eleven, fourteen. I mean, this can gain more life now is why I would do it, right? It only gains three life next turn, but it gains six here. eat a food think we're dead we did oh gotcha so it it gained like nine life blocking that eh. we were dead anyway right all right let's win on the play by doing this <laughs> yeah, exactly. They killed our Oko, and then we lost. Go figure. Hmm? Oko? Oko. I said Oko. He am Planeswalker. Here... Ooh, Tron Dragon with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the batch. Thank you. Well, welcome back to the batch, I guess. <laughs> Could be anything. I'm going to bottom one of these. <laughs> Uh, no. All right. Hmm. 
Why am I into... What? <laughs> I don't get it. What? Oh, got it. I get it now. I get it now. Which one do you take? <laughs> they take the good card, of course. Uh, awkward that we didn't get an untap. Oh, never mind. Z Z Z King, because I don't feel like trying to pronounce this properly. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Sorry, I'm late. Um. Zenogre King? Is that how you say that? Oh, Twitch names. And the, the Quinner with the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. I'm just going to cantrip. Like, I have Veil. So. Oh, all I smell is onions. I'm certain you're quite charmed to meet me. No one's charmed to meet you. Go away. Do I just cantrip this now? How did you say it? Because apparently it was right. Zenogre King. Zenogre King. Okay. <laughs> I'm just going to cantrip this now. Let's just draw a card. Look, it's a goose. <laughs> You ever feel like you didn't accomplish anything? And yet everything at the same time? Fantastic. Uh, resolves. Get, get out of here. Resolves. I played a black spell. I feel like cantripping. I just want to find cards. Hello. Hello, hello. Yes, hello. I kind of wish I hadn't done that, actually. Now that I think about everything. Oh, no. All right. Wish, wish, wish I still had the 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 flipping flipping thing. I, I, my greed consumed me, and now they have a four four. You see the humor here. Uh, I think I think we've died. I think we have have actually died. That's more like it. That's the way. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. I like it. Uh, this Kinrith is uh, doing a whole heck of a lot here. I'm just going to make another 4-4. Four -four, endless 4-4s. Four Whenever you kill their 1-1, one -one, they make a 4-4. Four -four. Yeah, there's your 4-4. Four -four. You know what Once Upon a Time can't grab? It can't grab the frickin' Oko. Gosh, and they can block my... Well, this can grab a land. Uh, might as well exchange it for a land. I don't know. They're taking Kinrith regardless. <laughs> Shrug. Kandrith is really bad against Oko. 
Yeah, oh look, I, gra I grabbed an Oko, but we're dead, so neat. Oko not so good against Oko, it turns out. Not on this board state, anyway. Alright, well, 0-2 with this deck after going undefeated with it yesterday, as is tradition. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of these glowing things here so I can stop having glowing things at the top of my bar. And give us give us crash. We have crash. What are you talking about? I kind of want to start on the green one, right? The green one has... Does it have what I think it has? It has love struck beats. Great hinge. Every creature over two mana. That is factual. Ember Cleave, Fervent Champ I like, Torbrun. Uh, I think I just get Rankle. I think we just get Rankle here. God. Why, why, why did black end up having just like all the good ones? Glass casket's fine, I guess. Yeah. All right. We've got rankle. All right. Yeah. Once more into the losing streak. All right, give me give me all those decks I was chewing up yesterday. Oh wait, I think I only played one one match actually. Yeah. Talking all this stuff, I just wanted to make sure the deck worked. It's playing this this fibble fip fella. Ooh, we want a coin toss. It's a good start. I mean, turn to Oko, and then we have a Wicked Wolf. Like, eh. What if they made a three mana Planeswalker that wasn't absolutely backbreaking? I'd like to meet you. Thank you. Goose into Oko into Wolf, best st start and standard. Uh, you could make the argument. The Halu One has followed. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. Spell Pierce. Spell Pierce rotated, right? Yes. Neat. Oh, that's true. It could have been Mystical Dispute. But instead, it's a 1-1 one, one for 1. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, like, attacking this doesn't even really accomplish anything. I'm kind of down on the idea of animating my food against a blue deck that has, like, 8 bounce spells, though. So I will give them that much. Are they just going to bounce it now? Oh, that's so gross. Why? Why is... Why? It's not poison. Trust me. I don't, don't really need that. Uh, yeah, I'm not really, since I have Wicked Wolf, I'm not going to detention this. I have an O2 blocker for this. What what do they do against it, an 8 loyalty Oko? The uh, toast is done. They cry. Uh... I believe you. I'm going to go ahead and plus this before I cast Wicked Wolf. I think the verb is lose. <laughs> Throw this into their three mana counter here. 
He hungry. Two mana counter, you say? Awkward. Okay. What if, instead of you having a Spectral Sailor, you had a food? What, what if that were to happen? What's mine is yours, and yours is mine. And now I get to hold up paying four mana to draw a card? Seems these. Get out of my face. This doesn't even kill Oko, and then, like, I get to just plus Oko on Spectral Sailor. Draw a card. Nah. Yes. Let's broaden your existence. Broaden your existence. Cute, cute. Yep. Swing in for four. Uh, do I cast this? Yep. Just gonna put Kinrith down. They're gonna counter it, so it doesn't matter. I told ya. Kinda don't want this to be countered, is my point, though. Like, this is dying regardless, and I have a backup, so I don't care. I mean, I get, I get a free block, I guess. Shrug. He's dying regardless. I see you don't share Rocks week business. with the follow. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. What problem does Kinrith solve for us? Do we not have enough value? <laughs> uh... Uh, let's start with with my second okay oko all right perfect this means questing beast resolves i i've played against it i don't like the doom deck that much I'm using you, thank you. Swing for eight. Yeah, I can't block, so might as well attack. Or, sorry, that can't... Well, neither of these can block, actually. Not this, anyway. Are they going to double block my questing beast? Oh, I should have played this first to see if I couldn't snag both of these. Yeah, that that's kind of a punt. Whoopsies. I made an oopsie doodles. Oh, please assign damage correctly. It did not ass ah. hate it. It had death touch, so they should have taken two more than that. 
Look, a distraction. Oh, you want a timeout? Got it. Understood. They have another one? Are you kidding me? Uh, it just has trample, right? Oh, it doesn't have trample. Never mind. I thought it had trample. I thought it was busted even further than it was. Never mind. Game did a good job. Good job, game. I thought it had uh, trample, frenzied. Mm, let's just make a food. Food has been made. I'm not going to jump this out in front of another 3-2, so I'm just going to attack with this. Oh, that goes back to their hand. That's so cute. Okay. Okay. Because it did not have any abilities, and I could not draw a card. Target artifact loses all abilities. Whose turn is it? My turn still. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, that'd be a great line. Once upon a time. Ooh, they found the big night pack. They found the wolfy boy. Do you feel ambushed? Make some food. Gain some life. Gain some life. I would like to not draw a goose. I would like to draw Kindrith or Oketra or something else. Please. Thank you. You deserve this. <laughs> If only you weren't so bright. Man, I wish I had a spell in hand that I could cast at their end step to ruin their trigger. Deck is perfect. It's eggs control. Yeah. Why did they not attack me? I feel so unattacked. Is this going to gain infinite life, I guess? Like, four mana gain three infinitely, I guess. Come on! Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I should have done this untapped so I could... Oh, no! Oh, no! Not the second ambusher. Ah. Why do we keep coming so close and then just drawing goose and land? Uh, this is 14. So what you're saying is we're dead. <laughs> we're, uh, we're getting there. Quick, cook some food. 
Maybe the wolves will stop eating us if we just make some food for them. Neat. <laughs> Woo. All right. God, I just want to, I want to dispel and cantrip all in one. Um, cutting a goose. I'm rage cutting a goose. Hmm. Why? Why do the land squelch? This is not normal. Like I. It's not just the lands. Oh, it's so gross. Blah. Anyway, what are we cutting? Uh, I wish I had more Teferi to bring in. Oh, God. Sure. It is totally normal now. Stable release. Boop. Boop. We will play first. Once upon a time, we found an untapped land, maybe? Or a land, I guess. Doesn't need to be untapped. It's a lot of lands. Let's grab breeding pool. Put it into play tapped. Pass the turn. And this charming prince gets to scry two for us. Uh, man, I wish, I wish upon a star. Um, sure. We'll take the land, we'll go land, paradise druid, and then the turn after that, we can start leaving up Vale of Summer. How much of each land I need in a three color mana base? Wait, breeding pool. Weren't they mono blue? Uh, I would like untapped lands now. Uh, there is a uh, an article on Channel Fireball, eh, eh, channelfireball.com that has that sort of information on it, but I don't, I don't, I don't know. Um. Sure. Yeah, here you go. Here's Frank Karsten helping you do your mana math for you. Alrighty then. He's so charming. Come on, three mana counter spell. Oh, taste it. Mmm. Still get to surveil, but it still feels really good. Uh, yeah. No, what? Oh, okay. Woo. For a second, it looked like they were putting Teferi second. I was like, no, I kind of want to draw Teferi next. I'm going to just slam them into this four-mana counter they inevitably have. Oh, okay. Um. Then I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and play this. I know there's a land on top. They're likely to counter it because it's a good spell. Get in there. Sure. So their life's getting pretty low. They got the five manas now. Look at this, I have Veil up. I played the forest, I have Veil. Don't do it, don't do it. Oh wait, we knew they had this. Why did we know they have this? How did we know they had that?
Smart. Why did I know they had that? I'm confused. What happened? What happened that let me know they have that? I forget. I was too busy doing mana articles or whatnot. Let's scry to. Can I cast that? I can, but do I want to? Like, against all this open mana? I'm just gonna bottom both of these. Maybe that's what the cuts are supposed to be, or the top end here. I shocked a land in for absolutely no reason. Not a single one. Block. Oh. Maybe they'll counter once upon a time. Kind of in for them countering this. Oh, they didn't do it. Um, these are all good. If I if I grab this, so so these are the these. I'll show you in a second. If I grab this, will they be less likely to counter to fairy? What do I bounce if I play Teferi? Because, like, I'm not bouncing this. Um... All right. So, these are your pips. So, this is a white pip. This is a blue pip. <laughs> How oh, I had an extra mana. I have four mana. I'm dumb. D stroke. I don't have a lot of stuff, but okay. One, two, three, four, five, six mana. Six mana, you say. Uh, six mana, you say. Six mana, you say. Uh, okay. They have something. It's a frilled mystic. So we take this. Uh, we leave this back. So if they attack, we just block it, kill it. And then next turn, we Oko, hopefully. I think I'm dumb. Ah, I think you're being hard on yourself. All right. All right, next turn, Ryoko. Next turn, Ryoko. I will invert the world to watch kings grovel. And I think a little merriment is in order. He thinks a little merriment is in order. And now we just do alternate turns of uh, making food and making three threes. So if we make it to game three, I'm going to cut one or two five drops. Because they just like get so much value out of countering those. Or considering bouncing my deputy of detention, which would then allow me to replay it and get all of their frilled mystics. So they're taking Prince instead because Prince was my best blocker. So now they can do this and I have to ask myself, do I want Oko to live or do I want them to have a three and have a three one or do I want them to not have the three one? I 
kind of want Oko to live. Quite the nibble. Which is annoying. Goose. I should have activated Oko before playing the Goose. Should I have? Uh, resolves. No, you do not. Put on top. No, don't really need that. Scry to to the bottom. Your new look is enchanting. All right, so we have two blockers for the ground troops, and then they have this. Wolf. <sighs> yes, I am positive that I would like to upgrade my O3 that is doing literally nothing into a 3 3 that can attack. Yeah. <sighs> Maybe I want some dino in the board here. Like, Dino just crushes this deck? Radical idea. Can't be countered. Can't be blocked by their dorks. Gets in for five a turn. Yeah. Sounds good. Go here. And offer a trade. Because I will take it. Well, Oko did a lot of work here. Your expectations are exhausting. Would like to scry to. Gosh. I swear there are decent cards in this deck somewhere. Really? Hmm. That is quite the clock. That is that is seven damages coming at my face. So we're dead next turn, is what you're saying. Even with that, is what you're saying. All right. So thoughts on this deck before I move on to the next one. When you've got something good, don't be cute. Don't, don't be cute. This should be four. This should be four. There should be like two or three of these. These should come out. And um, and two questing piece is fine. How how does that change the? Elemental math here. So we got two, uh, six, so eight. We have eight elementals. So not as good on the elemental front. Probably do like this. Yeah, that's fine. The elementals don't have to be a huge part of the theme because, like, this one draws a card when it enters the battlefield. This one draws a card when it enters the battlefield. So... They trigger each other, that's fine, but like, I think the core is you want to have Wicked Wolf, Oko, and Goose, and then just get them. And then in the sideboard, this feels kind of bad. Probably just one Tristani, and then we want, um, 
Uh, what's the stupid green card that's a dinosaur? This one. Some amount of these seems good. Something like that. Maybe a third questing beast. Eh, let's just do this. But yeah, something like that would probably be fine. I will go ahead and put this in Stream Decker, but then we're going to move on to the next deck.